Another day, another matted dog that hasn't been groomed in a year. This is Snow, and he's an eight-year-old Samoyed. Before we get started, this is your reminder to hit that subscribe button so I can continue offering my services for free for all of my clients. Extremely, extremely matted. Snow has been turned away by other groomers due to his coat condition, his reluctance to stand, and his excessive barking. He's here today for a much needed transformation because his compacted undercoat is causing him to overheat. I soaked him down with my hose first, and I'm bathing him today in de-shedding shampoo, deep cleaning shampoo, and purple whitening shampoo. All of the products I use on my clients can be found on my website, girlwiththedogs.com. Snow tore one of his ligaments in his back leg, and although it has since healed, it can still cause tenderness and weakness. That, in conjunction with him being overweight, has made it difficult for him to stand for long periods of time. The problem is that in order for me to do a proper job on him, I do need him to stand periodically. I can understand why some groomers may not be physically capable of handling this huge job, and I'm happy to take on the challenge. Keep in mind, however, Snow is my only client today, which is unlike most groomers who have a tight schedule. I don't want to create unrealistic expectations for other groomers, where people expect them to be able to manage every pet. Torn ligaments is a very common problem, and many times it requires surgery to fix. Oftentimes this injury occurs because an animal is throwing around an excessive amount of weight while they are running, and a simple slip can cause a serious injury. While it's not the only cause of this injury, it's another reason why pet owners need to be diligent about the amount of food they feed and how many treats they give their pet. Overweight pets leads to a lot of health issues and a lot of medical bills. If your pet does suffer from this particular injury, it's important to keep them at a healthy weight for the remainder of their life, or you risk them tearing the ligament again. While you may not be able to exercise them as much, you can reduce their portion sizes to match their activity levels. Please keep in mind that I am not bashing Snow's owners for his weight. I've been in this business long enough to know that most owners, especially owners of super fluffy animals, genuinely do not realize their animal is large and in charge. A friendly reminder of this issue can make them aware of the problem. Remember, it's easy to spot an overweight pet, unless it's your own pet. The reason for Snow's excessive barking is because he's uncomfortable. Once he was able to lay down, he became much more relaxed for the grooming. I wish I could allow him to lay down for the entire groom, but the extent of his compacted undercoat makes it nearly impossible to do a proper job if he doesn't stand, at least for short periods of time. When working on dogs like this, I always give them several breaks throughout the process.
He had some mats behind his ears, and he was less than impressed with me trying to shave them out. I worked on brushing his legs, belly, and sides as quickly as possible so I could allow him to lay down for the rest of the groom. And once he lays down, he's happy again. Since he couldn't stand any longer, I had no choice but to finish the brushing with him laying down. It wasn't ideal, but it was necessary. I kept him in a muzzle because there were definitely more than a few times where he showed me his teeth. Unfortunately, his inability to stand meant that there were some areas at the end of his groom that weren't brushed out to my expectations. But after nearly four hours, Snow needed to go home for both of our sanity and well-being. I sprayed this ball of fur down in blueberry bubblegum cologne, slapped a bandana on him, and called it a day. If you need me, too bad. I'll be taking a well-deserved long nap. Snow is looking and feeling like a new man, and miraculously, the fresh air gave him a new pair of legs. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Strident Snow.